Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I am very excited to be reacting to a brand new group I have never reacted to before on this channel. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Um, FT Island? It's either FT Island or Fort Island because FT is sometimes used to abbreviate the word fort. But I'm also seeing it written here as like all one word with no space. So ignore me. I, I think it's FT Island. Um, I'm going to be reacting to four of their songs today. I'm going to be doing Severely, Puppy, and I went out of my way to make sure that this song was in the reaction because I've been told that FT Island does a lot of like ballads, a lot of like darker stuff. And when I was reading about some of these songs, they said that Puppy was like a refreshing, like a bright concept. So I wanted to include that. I'm going to also react to You Don't Know Who I Am and Take Me Now. So these are the four I'm going to do today. I apologize if your favorite title track isn't in here. This is just my first look at them. I'm excited to check them out. I don't know anything about them at all. I think they are a band, like a K band though, because I remembered them um, earlier today, I was reacting to some shiny live performances, and this was like a really old performance from like 2008 or 2009, and they were on stage with FT Island. I think it was like a, a competition or something. It looked like they were competing against each other. But anyway, I didn't hear FT Island's song. I just saw them standing on stage, and they were like holding guitars. So I'm assuming they're a band. Don't know anything about them. I'm excited to check it out, though. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing. Let me know what other FT Island songs you think I would like. I don't even know if I'm going to like them or not. Who knows? But I'm excited to check it out and listen to their music. Let's go. All right. This is Severely. I'm reacting to a fan upload because the original does not have captions. So let's go. This The video is like long. It's almost seven minutes long, so I don't know if this is about to be like a cinematic masterpiece or if it's just a really long song. Let's go. I'm already uncomfortable. We're in church. I'm uncomfortable. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I'm pushing up she am not she am ke kurake nal bone juge. Nail yon sube bado. Osekagi manago. This guy can sing. His voice is like soaring. It's, yeah, he can sing. And this video, is, he's very handsome too. This video, I'm not sure about. Because like, at first I thought he was at her funeral, like holding a picture of her. But then the lyrics are talking about breaking up with someone. And then she didn't seem happy to see him. But he also just kind of saved her life. So I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's really handsome. 
I like his nails. Wait a minute. Were they supposed to get married at that church? Is that what was happening? <laughs> okay, this video is cute. Yes, guitar solo. Wait, were those all just memories? Is he at her funeral? She still has the watch. Oh, she bought it for him because she saw he liked it. What? Oh no, he's trying to save your life, girl. Oh no. Maybe the watch was like time traveling. <laughs> I would watch this K drama. What? Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Wait, did the driver just run away? Okay, that that was a lot. I don't think I've ever seen a music video 
quite like that before with with that type of storyline. Um, that was a lot. It was really good, though. I really liked it. The song... I, I should listen to the song by itself because I feel like that music video is very much... I feel like in the music video, the song is not the focus of the music video. That was like a little miniature K-drama and the story is definitely the focus of that music video. So that's kind of what I was paying attention to. The song was really good though. And from the lyrics I was reading, it was more of like a breakup song. Like, I can't imagine living without you. Like, dying would be worse than living without you. And then he did die. Um, so that... That was weird. I don't know that the lyrics to the song necessarily matched like the tone and the theme of the music video, but like I, it's also my first time hearing and watching this, so I could have totally missed something. Um, let me know what you thought. I do think that music video is very original. Like it, it, there, it, it's not like anything else that I can think of. So it's probably very iconic. I did like the song but I only met the one guy and I don't even know if he's an actual member of the group or not. It could have just been an actor. So I'm excited to see these other music videos too, so I can learn more about the group. And from what I heard, it all sounded like one guy. So like maybe they only have one singer. I don't know. That's just, this is my first time. So let's move on to the next song. All right, next up is Puppy, and I, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm very excited to hear this song because it's called Puppy. Let's go. Where's my puppy? Oh, my God. Say, bro, what you're up with me? Say, bro, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They better bark at me if in the live performance. They better they better bark at me in the live performance. Did he, is he gonna find his puppy? Okay, so there are five members, is that right? Is this the same guy from the last music video? I can't tell. Your sexy booty. I don't, I don't think he's talking about a dog here. What are you doing, sir? I love this song. Come on. Hey, baby. Okay, here's the band. Let's go. Yes. Hey, lie, lie, 
Oh my gosh. Pizza? Pizza! I mean... That's got to be a DoorDash driver because I've never had a pizza delivery person like that. That's not a practical outfit, girl. Plot twist, he is the puppy. <laughs> I, uh, I love that. I love music like that. I love music videos like that that don't take themselves too seriously. I love goofy songs, but like also the chorus of that was awesome when they were all together in the band and he was singing and the other guys were doing like the oohs and the ahs and the... From what I'm gathering, this is only the second song, obviously, but it seems like they have one main vocalist and then the other guys were all playing guitar. There was a bass, and then there were two go there were two other guitars and a drummer. And all of the other guys were doing like band backing vocals, like chanting and, and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be like a day six situation where multiple members all sing and get their own parts, or if there's like one main vocalist and then some other people like come in occasionally so it's only the second song and this probably isn't a good representation of all of their music i just picked this song because it looked ridiculous and i saw the thumbnail for the music video and i said yes 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 we're doing puppy so i think the next two songs are going to be um on like the more serious side but i did love puppy i am going to add that to my phone all right next up for today is you don't know who i am Let's go. And they're right, I don't. It's my first reaction. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Wait, is this Japanese? This is a bop. Hold on, hold on. This is a bop, and I'm not surprised. I didn't realize it was a Japanese release until I saw, like, the the Brackets official music video. For some reason, on all of the Japanese releases, it always has that same, like, official music video, like, bracket in the title. Um, but I'm not surprised. If you've watched any of my other reactions, I always, I always love Japanese songs like japanese title tracks i should honestly listen to japanese pop and like maybe i would love that too um i was looking at a list of ft island songs i also asked on twitter like what i should react to i did choose this song because it's my first time reacting to them and some of the things i saw about this song were that this was like one of their most like radio friendly songs and it's my first time reacting to them so i wanted like something that was going to hook me, something that was going to be catchy and like I would remember. And I do like this. Plus this guy, like when he came up on the screen, I was like, oh, wow, he's he's very attractive. Ooh. 
This has like a classic rock feel to it. I like that this music video is doing a better job of like showing all of the members. Um, I think it's pretty clear that they have the one main vocalist and he's kind of like the visual and like the face of the group. But I like that it's showing like the other members kind of like it's a band. They're like rocking out with each other and they're each kind of getting their own little moments in the music video. Yeah. And, and th that guy's really handsome. I think I already said that, but... He's really handsome. <laughs> Ooh! They got some violin. Oh, they're all cute. Ah! Aww. They're actually all very cute. Look at this. Look at this group. They're all very cute. Also, do we know who the do we do we know who the girl is? Like is she an actress? Would I know her? Is she a singer? Is she one of the members' sisters? It's like who is this girl? That would be kind of funny if they had like a family member just <laughs> That was a bop though. That song. Mhm. Mm Wait, did he suddenly just have black lipstick? He just got black. Li Has he always had the black? Did I just now notice? What's happening? Okay, that was You Don't Know Who I Am, and that song, that song was a bop. Um, it's just kind of funny because all three of these songs have been so different. Uh, the first song was very severely. Uh, the first song was very dramatic, but I think it was just the music video was dramatic. The song itself was just like it was a heartbreak love song. It was nice. Puppy was iconic. Puppy was iconic. I loved it. And then You Don't Know Who I Am. I think it was just like a nice Japanese bop. So I still don't have a good sense of like, what is their typical sound? Do they have a typical sound? Do they just kind of uh, do whatever? I'm pretty sure when I asked on Twitter, I think a lot of people said their concepts were typically dark. And so far, I haven't seen any really darkness except for that first music video. The storyline was dark, but um, let me know. Do they just make bops? Are all of their music like anthems? Because that last song was like an anthem. And I could definitely see myself listening to that, dancing around the house, doing the dishes. I think I like them. And they're all very handsome. And this lead vocalist, like, oh. I haven't commented much on it, but like he could sing, like he could really sing. And when I was looking for, um, for stuff to react to today, they have a song called wind that I almost react, that I almost picked. I might go back and do that later, 
But I saw that the singer also did the song with Sung Kwan from Seventeen. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you would know that I love Seventeen. They're like one of my favorite groups of all time. And so I think I'm going to react to Wind also and then react to the version with Sung Kwan. It's like a radio performance, I think. But anyway, that's not about, it's not what this is about. This is my first time hearing FT Island. And so far, I'm actually pretty impressed. I really do like them. My only experience with K bands, um, I've reacted to a couple One Wee songs a long time ago when I was first getting into my channel. I reacted to a lot of RBW artists, and I still do. I still love them. But I haven't checked out One Wee in a long time. Um, and some day six. I really do like day six. This feels a little bit different. FT Island feels more like a classic band. Um, and I actually really, I really like the feel. I like the feel of this group. I like the music. We got one more to check out today. Take me now. So I'm going to stop this and then I'll be right back with that music video. All right. Last up is take me now. Let's go. Oh. Okay, so this is kind of dark. Oh. Oh, where are we going? Okay, this is definitely the hardest song so far. Ah! I love this. I love the effect on his voice. Oh, why are they all wearing gas masks? Ooh, I just got goosebumps. The, the melodies of this song are so pretty and kind of haunting, and the lyrics are just honest his voice is very smooth Hey. 
Wait, has this all been in English? I didn't even... I was so into this song. Ooh. Yes. A film. That's right. That's right. That was a film. I think some people, like, if you've watched a lot of my reactions, you might be surprised. But Take Me Now was actually my, my favorite out of these four. Um, it was just really refreshing. And I've been reacting to so much. I've been reacting to so much K-pop, really, the last two years, the last year and a half, however long I've been doing this. I haven't really had... That much rock music on the channel other than like Dreamcatcher and a few like random videos here and there. I've been reacting to a lot of pop and you know that K-pop is like a very like broad term. Like it can be funky, it can be disco, rock, pop, rap, hip-hop, whatever. But this is refreshing because it's just it's rock and I don't know. I just I really like it. And every time, every time I react to a K-pop song that's got like a little rock edge to it, I'm always like, ooh, I love this. I wish they would have went like a little bit harder. That's what she said. Um, and FT Island with Take Me Now, it was just giving me everything that I wanted. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say, I actually don't listen to a lot of rock music, especially like male artists. Um, I listened... Back in the day, I listened to a lot of, like, Paramore and Evanescence. I listened to a few, like, male rock artists, like, alternative, like, AFI. Um, but I wouldn't say that... I wouldn't say that, like, I'm a huge rock fan. Um, but I really do like this, and I like this energy. The song was gorgeous. Even though it was a little aggressive, I liked it. It was gorgeous. The melodies were very pretty. And... I don't know. This was just my favorite. If FT Island's music is more on the Take Me Now side, um, I probably would like a lot of their other songs. Um, you Don't Know Who I Am was also a bop. That felt a little bit less. That was more like a radio, like an anthem. It was a little bit more poppy, but I really loved that. Puppy was iconic. There's probably some people who don't like Puppy, but like, I mean, you can have your opinion, but you you're wrong. Puppy was iconic. Honestly, my least favorite was Severely. And I feel like when all the stuff I was reading, I feel like that's the fan favorite. Like Severely is like their most iconic song is what I kept seeing. And I did like the music video. I liked the whole like storyline and everything. But I, I don't know. It was just my least favorite song out of these four today. So that was my first look at FT Island. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm walking away from this reaction curious. Like I want to know a little bit more about them. They're all very handsome. That doesn't hurt. But I feel like all of the songs I picked today were a little bit older. Like the newest one was You Don't Know Who I Am and that was 2016. Puppy was 2017. Okay, so they were all a little bit older. I'm kind of curious to know what they're doing now. I didn't Google the group, so I don't know if they're still together or anything, but these songs were all a little bit older. Maybe I should listen to some of their more recent stuff. Let me know what you thought based on my preferences and stuff in this video. Let me know what FT Island songs you think I might like. What's your favorite song? I hope you enjoyed my reaction, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.